we met uh, with Andrea for years ago, uh, not in London, not in Tokyo or Paris, but in Prague. I think mostly we are passion for drawing, but also for storytelling, uh, but mostly for history. So uh, this is the main ingredients or chemistry in our work or now also in relationship. Welcome to the Czech Central London Vitrinka Gallery. I'm very excited that despite ongoing challenging circumstances, we have just opened a new exhibition by two young and talented artists, Andrea Vitlachilova and the visual artist Josef Slamal. The exhibition to the age of the world and back to their roots captures a personal journey in search for artistic identity. My name is Andrea. Um, I'm a fashion designer and Sanderson Martins student and graduate. My name is Josef Zlamal. I am a multidisciplinary working artist uh, across many media, but the main focus is on drawing. My work has a very distinctive visual language. Um, I work with print, um, illustration, and also natural dyes, um, which is why I'm working primarily with cotton and silk. My work is uh, based on dialogue, but not also, not also with other artists, but uh, very strongly with uh, cinema or literature. Happy Elephants. One of the paintings uh, included in the current show. It's all about relationships, about love, man and woman. This painting was created uh, with charcoal and canvas. It's a large scale drawing. And as you see, each line uh, was developed in quite a short time, in one movement. One of the principles in my work is uh, to be able to enjoy time, because we are living in an era where we have to produce many and many uh, new artworks, but uh, this is maybe the opposite. My silk scarves serve as a journal, as a diary, um, as a form of dealing with my emotions, my experiences, uh, my travels. This one is from New York. Uh, it's called Birds. Um, when I lived in New York, uh, we lived in a tiny apartment, which was so tiny, it was like a, the bed and there was a meter around the bed and that was the entire apartment. And this scarf is inspired by my ideal view from the from the room um, and by the birds that were our only companions when we went on our daily runs by the river. Each of the scarves has a different meaning and a different story. They come from my journal entries, from my sketches and photographs from the travels. Um, I have different collections. I've made one in Stockholm, one in New York, one in Paris and now one in the Czech Republic, Bohemia. My scarves were born in desperate moment when I was working in Stockholm in a fashion house and there were long hours, we were working on things that were never actually being made. So I was so frustrated, I started working in my sketchbook, drawing, journaling and all of a sudden this idea for scarves came about because I was connecting illustration with my garment and fashion work into something that was actually tangible and wearable. I usually start with a black and white version of it um, either with ink or markers. I, I then scan it and once it's scanned I add it in the computer and then I arrange the final design on a tablet which is where I add colors and, uh, and, the, uh, and the tones and, and once that is done I transfer it onto the fabric with heat and with reactive dyes. This is a trailer for the documentary My Bohemian Tale by Lucy Desmond. Um, she followed me in my final year at Centro San Martins when I was finishing my degree and my final collection. The final collection um, kind of revolves around natural dyes, upcycling, sustainability, craftsmanship, tradition, and just following the footsteps of my ancestors and then combining it with the new technology. In the last 10 years uh, I was working mostly with uh, handmade paper and ink and this was the base for my creation. But in the last three, four years, I extended my work uh, with some other materials, like wood, 
these works also involve color and this is maybe the heaviest development in my work in the last two years because of Andrea. Her work is very uh, colorful, it's full of color and maybe also full of happiness and fulfillment in life. I do not escape but I changed in some way uh, like a human and with this transition changed also my creation. So now is color, um, maybe also some kind of grotesque or humor present and it's not just the black and white word of uh, Bergman or any other references I appreciate still very much uh, but maybe this is the second part of the whole circle and it starts to make more sense because uh, it's not about just about the night but also the day is present so this exhibition to the edge of the world and back to their roots is about our travels our work travels across the globe pretty much and it revolves ar around finding for our identity um, mm. it is also a bit of a dialogue between us two and our work because mine is quite colorful and Joseph's is monochrome um, and the exhibition reflects just this.